We are headed to Montana. I'm a little sad because the weather has finally started warming up here in Texas. Like it's literally 93 degrees today. Are you kidding me? And now we're going up to the mountains to go skiing for a couple days. We leave Wednesday, we get back Monday at like midnight. So really Tuesday. That's how many days I'm packing for. I don't even know how many of those. Let's see, Monday, wait, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so we're there for full four days. So I got a pack for coldness, which I'm kind of sad about. But once I get back, I'm mentally going to be summer, like 100%, you know? It's already like hot in Texas. I usually never take a checked bag, except for when we go skiing, because I just have so much stuff that you have to fit. I'm going to try to get mine and Cash's stuff in one suitcase, because Cash also has a snowboard. So he's going to have to check that. And I just don't want to pay for a million extra checked bags. And then I get a carry-on. So we're going to try to make it work. I should be good. But I I always feel like I overpack and stress a little, so we're gonna see what we can do. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had this. Well, I'm not gonna use that one anyways because I have the big one and my carry-on, so I'm gonna try to put everything in these two for four days. Which now that I'm looking at it, would be more than enough room if it weren't for the fact that we're going somewhere cold and I just have to pack a crap ton of stuff. The easiest thing to do is going to be putting this stuff in first because this is our big step. I am so hot right now, and I just think it's so weird that I'm literally packing to go to the Arctic. Oh my gosh, I'm literally a packing expert. Like, hello? <gasps> Should I do this as a full-time job? Just come pack people's suitcases for when I need to travel? Because I am literally so smart. <sighs> Look at that, it's folded up all nice and neat. First thing in there, whoop, whoop. I think I'm most nervous right now about how I'm gonna protect my books while we travel. And you may be thinking, why? Like literally my books are my babies. Whenever I have to take a book from somewhere outside of my house, I panic because I don't want the pages to get messed. I don't want anything to happen to these books. Right now I'm like internally stressing about how I'm gonna protect my books on this trip. Last year, we went to Park City and the year before that we did Colorado. So this year going to Montana is something different. But I'm very excited about it. I've never been to Montana. Maverick was the one who really planned this trip. He kind of begged everyone to go and then he just like booked it and was like, do y'all want to come? And we're like, sure. What is in here? <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, there's a hidden gin in my pocket. What is it? Oh, <laughs> tampons. <gasps> my jacket ripped. <gasps> y'all, does this mean I get to buy a new one? Wait, it actually ripped. Hold on. Welcome to my athletic wear side of my closet. I want this sports bra. She's a good cozy one. This is like a bright pink sports bra from Story. I love that brand by the way, so good, Mwah. love it. I'm also gonna grab some of these just like Halara tops. I also wear these as sports bras too, even though I think they're technically just like tops. Like you can see they're a little bit more full coverage. I still like having those, so I'm gonna take one of those. Oh, I need my thermal leggings. I hang all my pants on this bottom rack, but I don't wanna hang those. I feel like those are a waste of space all year, which is why I'm doing separate wardrobes this year. I gotta find where I hid these leggings. I think I last remember putting them up here somewhere. Found them, yeah. Oh, I have two pair of thermal leggings. I'm also gonna take some Lulu's because it's always good to just have those. I'm gonna take a crew neck or something to wear in case I also wanna wear. I don't, I literally, I haven't even checked the weather. Like, I don't know how cold it's gonna be here. We're going off the fact that there's snow. The fact that there's snow makes me think that I need lots of layers. I just have this crew neck that says, Jesus loves you. Um, I think it'll be good for like an in-between layer in case I decide I want it. So I'm gonna take that. The other years I've gone, I haven't felt it like I needed that, uh, except for the one day it snowed on the mountain and it was pretty freaking cold. So I am gonna take that actually. I'm glad I thought of that. Okay, I also need to make sure I get socks and underwear, which I'm not gonna do on camera, you freaks. I know that's what everyone's wanting is for me to pack my underwear on camera, but I'm not doing that. As I was trying to pack my socks, I realized we have another dilemma. Um, I don't have socks. That's a lie, I do have socks, but I don't have socks that are fit for skiing. So I'm gonna see if I can get some shipped to us overnight. I've always thought about being one of those really aesthetic TikTok girlies who like will throw all of her clothes in the suitcase and like edit it and make it look super cute. I'm not one of those girls, let me tell you. I personally hate editing, so you will never catch me doing cute videos like that, ever. I also just don't think it's my style of content. I think it's great and satisfying to watch, but I don't think it's what I can make because, I don't know. I think I like to make comedy videos, but are they really that funny? I think so. I literally, every time I film a video, I'm like, I'm so unfunny. And then I watch it back and I'm like, wait, am I kind of funny? But I don't know. Maybe I'm not funny. And like, I'm just like gassing myself up in the head, you know? 
I'm throwing in an extra crew neck to wear as a layer if I feel like I need it. Guys, I'm like a professional overpacker. I overpack in every single situation because I'm so stressed that I'm gonna forget something. I have my life so put together right now. The fact that I am packing, not the day before, but the day, day before, says a lot about my character, doesn't it? All right, the next thing I guess I should do is start getting my daily clothes. I'm gonna take this pair of jeans. I really think I only need two pair of jeans. I'm gonna take that pair of jeans and my girlfriend jeans. I got one black and one blue pair. That should be enough. I am gonna take both of my Brandy Melville sweatpants. I'm gonna wear these on the plane though, so I'm not gonna pack those away. These can be packed away. You want me to show you a video that'll make you cry? No. Watch this. No, stop. What? Is it actually gonna make me cry? Probably. Are you kidding me? What? Why would you show that to me? Just thought you should appreciate your life today. You know how I think though. What? You know, I literally wake up every day and I'm like, thank you, Jesus, for letting me live another day. And thank you, Jesus, for letting my family live another day. Like, I acknowledge it and you just... I don't know. I just showed you a video. But you literally came in here and you were like, do you want to see a video that's going to make you cry? That was so mean. Why would you show me that? Cash. <laughs> that was so mean. How do I turn this off? Sorry, I had to take a brief intermission to cry. I don't know what Cash was thinking. He came in here talking about, you wanna see a video that'll make you cry? And then gets all surprised when the video makes me cry. Like, I'm not sure what I would do right now if someone came in here and tried to attack me. Uh, minding my business, packing, packing, someone comes in, tries to attack me. I would go, and they would literally fall to the ground and die from this. Like, that is heavy. I'm not even joking, like, yeah, that could do some serious damage. Maybe they would, they might not even let this on the plane because it would be considered a weapon. Okay guys, I have taken like 15 breaks. I've gotten pretty far. I'm very happy. I got like my ski athletic clothes, my like daily clothes. I got all my hats and my socks and my underwear and all that pulled out. Right now all our stuff is in the wash so I can't pack like my pajamas and lounge clothes just yet. I totally forgot. There is a hot tub at this Airbnb so I do need to get my swimsuit. I'll just take this black swimsuit and I think that's the only one I'm gonna take because I don't need more than one I don't think. Hi guys, welcome back to day two of me packing. I thought that packing two days before would make me be done packing by now, but I'm not apparently. I have so much to do today before we leave. <gasps> I literally could rob a bank and nobody would know who I am. I look like a race car driver. Can you see me as a NASCAR driver? Because I literally cannot breathe. I cannot be a NASCAR driver for the sole purpose that I could not wear one of these. Are these my goggles? These are my goggles. And once again, they're pink because I bought them when I was like 17. Picture me going down the mountain. I got my skis and I'm pizzaing because I don't actually know how to ski, but I am gonna take my belt bags because it's nice to have these when we're going down the mountain and like we can put our phones and stuff in it. Well, we have pockets, but I don't know, for like anything else. I know Cash likes to have one. Cash is a Lululemon belt bag wearing boy. I am literally, probably the funniest woman on the planet. I've got all of my books and my Bible in my backpack and my carry-on is packed. I'm just waiting on a few things from Amazon to get shipped in. Other than that, I'm pretty much done and I am very excited. I feel like this packing experience was very overwhelming and I don't know why. I literally feel like I need therapy after this packing experience. Speaking of therapy, I did want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. When I think about back when I was in school, my mental health was at its absolute lowest. And I really do think that if I had access to a resource like BetterHelp, it really would have helped me out a lot. Back in school, I was super stressed out with everything that was expected of me between schoolwork, sports, and just balancing healthy relationships in my life. I didn't know how to maintain it all and it literally left me so stressed out and overwhelmed and sad all the time. I'm sure that's something that a lot of you guys have felt in your life before, which is why I'm talking to you about it now. I don't want any of you guys to feel this way and not have access to getting the help that you need. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you unbiased, helpful advice. BetterHelp is super easy to use. You can just go to their website using my link, betterhelp.com slash Kate Marie. Answer a few questions and BetterHelp will connect you to a therapist who has had years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours because trust me, you're not alone. It's super convenient because you can chat with a therapist over the phone, through video chat, or even through messaging. It's whatever you're comfortable with and you get to do it all 
from the comfort of your own home. You're usually matched to a therapist within 48 hours, so you can get started pretty quickly. So to any of my viewers who are struggling with their mental health, let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist that can help you through your struggles from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash kmarie, or you can type my name in during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. 15 hours later, and I think we're finally packed, and Cash got all of his stuff too. The last thing I need to do is close up my checked bag and make sure that it's not overweight, but I'm kind of stressing because I put a lot in here. Ah! We'll see, I don't know. Whew. Okay, I just checked and it has to be 50 pounds. Do you need help? I'm ready. I have my backpack with my books and all my electronics are gonna be in here. And my carry-on and then this is my checked bag. This was a very stressful packing experience for me. I thought I was doing myself a favor by packing over two days and it literally just made me spend way more time than I needed to. So I don't know if I'll be doing that again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you all next time.